In this video, I am going to show you how to create your own LLM on your own data. Before I start that, you would need two things. First, go to cohere.com, create a free account with your own email. Then once you log into cohere.com, on the left hand side, click on API keys and then grab this default key by clicking on this copy button. Now go to Google and just type Google Colab. Once you type Google Colab, click on Google Colab and it will open this Jupyter notebook for you. This is where we are going to create your own LLM. So you don't even have to install any server or any other operating system. Cool. Now let's get started. First step you need to do is to import some of the Python lab libraries. For that, click on this plus code. Now paste all of these libraries here. And you don't have to type it. Just I will put all the commands I'm using here in my blog and I will drop the link to that blog in video's description so that you can simply copy paste. Click on this play button and it will import all of these libraries if they are not already installed. If you get the error that these are not installed, then simply run this command to at the top, pip install cohere. Cool. Okay, second step which you need to do is to give your data here, which you will be using for this LLM. So click on plus code again, it will open a new cell and paste this here. So this is the data I'm going to use for my LLM. The question I'm going to ask from this LLM is this, and I will be changing these questions, but this text will remain the same. This text is just a sample text about beaches in the Sydney, and there are different beaches, and I will be using this. Click on this play button, that's done. Now, sec the third step which you need to do is to distribute this text into chunks. When we say chunks, it means that the large language models don't really understand this text. They work on numerical values or numbers. These numbers are called as vectors or embeddings. So we need to first create the chunks out of them and then embeddings from those chunks. The code to do is this. So here, first we are splitting this whole text into sentences slash n is for new line and then we are creating the embeddings with the help of the cohere and this is the api key which we have copied from here okay and then in the last step we are creating the embedding click on play button that's done now as a fourth step what we need to do we need to create an index. So again, click on plus code. So here we are creating index and then we are loading all of these embeddings or basically the sentences in that index because in the index it is easier to search. Click on play button. It has created the index. In the next step, we are going to create a very simple search function which will search in that document. Click on plus code. And then this is a function I'm going to use. In this function, all I'm doing it, I'm passing my courier question. And this line is searching in the text and giving us the similar results or the near neighbors. Click on play button here. That's done. Okay, now this is the time to test our model. Here, what I'm doing is, I am searching, I'm calling this for function, which is search text, and I'm passing the question. So again, just to show you, the question was, which city beach should I visit? And then my text contains information about the Sydney beaches. And this should go into this text, find the nearest answer and return me the result. So let's see if it does it, does it or not. Click on play button. Cool, so it has, when I asked it which Sydney beach is the uh, should I visit, it is giving me the suggestion Bondi is the perhaps the most famous beach in Sydney, if not Australia. And then some more detail about the Bondi beach. Okay, this is cool. But I want to ask questions. So 
So let me define another function which is going to give me a simple exact answer. So click on plus code here. And this is a function I'm going to use which is ask LLM. Now in this LLM, I am passing it my question and also how many um, answers I want. I just want one answer out of it. And then I am giving it a prompt. Prompt is a way we ask questions from the LLMs and the more context we give it, the better. So I'm asking it that uh, the question will be asked. I'm giving it more information is available at australia.com. And then I'm passing the question to my LLM. And then I'm telling it if you can't find the answer, then just reply answer is not available. And then I'm using this command nightly um, base model from Cohere, which is updated nightly. Okay, now run it. It's done. Now let's ask it the question again. Click on plus code. And I'm asking, I'm just calling this ask LLM function here. Again, so the answer is Bondi Beach and it, this is the correct answer. Now let's change the question a bit. Let's ask it something which is not present in my text. I'm asking it which Sydney Beach is for family. Click on play button. Okay. Uh, it has given me a generic answer. The answer is there are many family friendly beaches in Sydney, Bondi, Bronte and Kuji. It is good. So although this thing is not my not in my text, but it has given me an intelligent answer because my prompt was spot on. Let's run it again to see if it returns the same result again or a different one. You see, it has gone to australia.com this time and it hasn't found the answer. So this is how um, you can't really, this is not a fixed answer question. This is upon our LLM. Let's go with another question and let me run it again to see what happens and then I will go to the another question. Cool. Uh, you, you can see that this time the answer is different but way off. Anyway, let's go with another question. I'm asking it which Sydney beach, is, beach has a rock pool. Let's check. It is searching the text right now. Okay, so it has come up with Bronze Beach. Let's go back to my text and confirm if the answer is right. So this is a Bronze Beach. And if I scroll to the right, so you can see it mentions the rock pool. So the answer is correct. So this is it. You can see that now I'm primarily chatting with my LLM here and asking it anything I want from that text. Now just think about it for a moment. You can use any text of your own choice here, any question here from your own company's data, your personal data, and it will answer you that. And if you want some auxiliary documents, you can make your prompt more intelligent and like I have done here and you can give it more websites or any other document given URLs and it will go there and give your question more context and the LLM would be able to answer more appropriately and more correctly. I hope that you enjoyed it. Again, for the reference, I will be dropping all the commands I have used in videos description in my blog and I'll drop the link in my videos description plus all the links to this cohere.com. I will drop in the video description so that you can obtain your key and I will also drop the link to the Google Colab. I hope that you found it interesting and useful. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you like the content. Thank you very much.